Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today. So, I'm going to be putting a sub inside this Jeep today. But first, I know a lot of people were complaining that I did the last uh, deck removal video in the dark. So, now that we've actually got some light, I'm going to quickly show you how to do it in the light. So, first thing you're going to do is put your fingers in here, squeeze, pull it out. Up here, as you can see, there's this tray. Pick it up, pull it out. And then, if you look in there, there would be a bolt, but... Once you actually go to put in your doubled in and stuff like that, you're going to have to uh, modify the inside here a little bit so you can actually get the deck to fit inside. So, first thing you're going to see is inside the cup spot here is you will see 7 mil. You're just going to quickly loosen that off a little bit. I'm just going to pop this off so I can do like this. That might have so, just get this screw out. Usually I just don't even bother showing this part anymore. But, might as well show you the screw location. So, once you get this out, ta-da! We now have that opened up. And, from here, I'm just going to take a look here. Yeah, see how this whole thing right here pops forwards a bit? It's because you have to pop this forwards, this forwards, and then there's actually two bolts that we're going to have one right here and one right here. But the first thing you have to do is pop off this piece. Just grab right here, pull. Just under the steering column, you'll see this, pull on it. You'll see right here, right beside the steering column, one more. And then one more on that side. You will have one just like this on that side. When you pull that, then we can start pulling on this whole thing. So let me just put my wrench back together here. We're just gonna quickly remove these. Figure I'd show this to everybody because if you're doing subs, you're gonna have to do this anyway if you're switching your deck out. And again, I'm not going to be showing the wiring portion on this video. I'll just be showing this portion on the video. Because uh, I already have the other one with the wiring, which that wasn't in the dark. I usually have my other hand free, quickly pull this off, see if we can do this, see if we got that screw out now, fuck these wobble head extensions suck, okay, drop that screw, be that all right so once you got all those screws out this just lifts out like so and you have full access to the radio and you're just gonna remove these four and the whole radio comes out and then there's that metal piece back there which you're gonna trim again watch my other video I'll tag it right here now that we're at this point if you're at this point with uh, your vehicle just pull this out these four, they should be eight mils right here. Just pull the four eight mils, hold stereo pulls out. And for the wiring, watch the other video I post right here. Other than that, if you're gonna be watching the subwoofer install, stay tuned from this portion on. All right guys, so if you're gonna be running a subwoofer, the first thing you gotta do is get your power wire through. Now you can either do this with a four gauge or an eight gauge. It all depends how big of a sub you're putting in your Jeep. If you're not putting that big of a sub in your Jeep, I'll show you a really easy way. You might wanna get some wire loom like so. And what you're going to do is, if you look down that cavity, which I can't show you here, I'll show you on the inside of the vehicle, what you're going to do is get yourself a very long zap strap, and you're going to feed it in through a hole. When you pop this open, there's going to be a panel that's right here. Um, and it literally just has some plastic hooks on it. So imagine this inside here, and you're just going to pop it. You can see those pop tabs right there. 
when you pop it, you can squeeze and then pull out like so. Once that's out of the way, you have this hole that goes right through and that goes right into that spot that's right there. So what you're going to do is stuff a very large zap strap in there that's very long. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of zap straps and I just, that's all I did is I shoved it in through there and then we fed it in through there so that way we didn't have to make any holes in the firewall because this firewall is pretty tight. <laughs> so after we've done that, now we can grab our wire and pull it through. If you want to just feed her through, keep pulling. As you can see, after you feed it through, it goes through there very nicely. And our battery block is only right there. So it makes it stupid easy for connecting. Now, as you can see, I don't have a fuse on here yet, so that's why it's not connected. Uh, make sure that you have a fuse like so. That's going to go right about here and you'll cut it and then you'll put a piece into each side. I'll show you how to wire that up after. It's stupid easy once again. But that's gonna be right there and then your fuse will be the joiner so that way if the short, maybe if you sink your Jeep or something, <laughs> it's gonna blow the fuse rather than short out and kill you know a lot of the electrical. So once we get there, now I'm gonna be popping off all this plastic all the way to the back and moving some carpet over. Once I have a clear path, I'll show you. But what we're gonna be doing is bringing it back over here and then, since we don't actually use this small little compartment place, let's move this up over here. Well, he's got some stuff in there right now, but we're going to try and mount an amp inside of there. And after we mount the amp in there, this will fold down over top of the amp, and our sub box will be sitting right on top of here, which you can still be able to put groceries and stuff on. So that way you can still do that. And if he wants to go 4 by 4 it's sitting there, which is elevated, which is better than trying to mount an amp or anything under these seats because that way if you sink your Jeep and mud starts pouring into the door that's still elevated so it's not going to get wet and that way your wet feet getting in and out of the vehicle aren't going to track mud in there and destroy your amplifier so stay tuned for the next section hey guys so when you're going to run the wiring what you're going to have to do is unbolt this or there's not a bolt it's just a pop clip Christmas tree you'll see one here and you'll see one here and you'll see one right here so the first one you're gonna to want to remove is this if you undo that Christmas tree as you can see this would actually be on top of it if you're looking at your vehicle right now let's pull this one out you'll pull this one out this will come out nice and simple uh, except for when I go to put it back in because then it's troublesome so after you get this out you'll see that that loop is where the uh, seatbelt would have been so you'll just slide that out and you'll see that there's two pop clips that are probably still over there which I probably left in there and those two pop clips are what are holding it in on the back so you'll pop it out by pulling on it and you can see there is one of them and when you pull on it from the back end after you get those three out it'll come right out so we'll put that over there after that you can get that one Christmas tree clip out there after that pops out in here you're just gonna force this out as you can see there's one two so it just pops right out after you get this out you get that flex on there and you rip on it that way once that's out then you fold your seat back just gonna do this for a sec perfect you'll see that you have carpet you're gonna pull the carpet back like so and go and run it all the way back through there you can tuck it in through here and when you start tucking it it comes up and over back here and then you're gonna fold this up and over like so and you're gonna bring your wire in from right down through there because that's where it's going to be and you can bring it into here if you want to mount your amp in here uh, you could also leave your plastic tray in here possibly if you want to uh, as you know there's that plastic tray that's in here that just actually lifts right out I don't even have to show you that but um, the plastic trays that's just sitting here just pick it up make sure this is aimed like so it lifts right out and then that carpet piece just pulls right out uh, after you've got that I've seen some people where they've mounted on the tail I like to mount my subs on the inside because if you mount your sub on the inside it can be uh, that way you're not worrying about closing the door and actually crunching it on something you have in your trunk so it's up to you. It's the, it literally does nothing different except for you have to worry about wiring if you mount it to the tail. So 
once you get your wiring here, which is what I'm going to do next, you can choose a grounding spot. There's lots in here. Uh, I was going to show you guys that you could go straight to the frame, but as you can see, this is the heat shield for your muffler. So you don't want to run anything or your exhaust. So you don't want to run any wires there. So choose a nice beefy piece of metal in here if you want and make sure you, once you find the place that you want to, like you find a nice solid piece, uh, clean it with a piece of sandpaper so it's uh, that really dull silver and then you're going to bolt your ground onto there so you have a ground wire, bring your power here. As for your RCAs, pretty simple. Fold this back here and you can go in from down through here. Now to get to down here, you actually, if I were you, since you're running your power on this side, you might as well disassemble that side the exact same way you do this side, do it on that side, and then you have this all open all the way to the bottom, disassemble that and run it along the carpet just like you would do this side, so that, because this is all exposed. Of course, your remote wire, make sure you connect your blue or your remote wire, to the blue white on the back of your deck and plug your subwoofer into the sub spot. All right. So that's about it. If I, I'll let you guys see the finished product once I'm done and uh, stay tuned. Hey guys, how's it going? So I thought I'd quickly show you how I did the RCA and the uh, remote wire through here. So first off, you have this nice opening which goes right through here and you could probably see my fingers if I do this. See my finger there? Yep. Uh, so I fed the RCA right through there over to here with the remote wire, same track, tied it in here, plugged in the RCA as you can see. And now you feed from here, which is the same spot, you just push it right down there and it'll fall down through here. As you can see I have both my wires right here. I'm just going to tie them up and behind there and look, they're hidden. And that, as I said, same as the other side, pop this all out and tuck it along the carpet over there. Make sure you take the lower rope, don't get it under your seat belt or something so you take it there tuck it into your carpet all the way back really simple with the Jeep and that's basically it just tie it along anything you want to along through here you tie it onto here and then yep so once you get all your wires back there then like I said um, you can mount your once you have everything as you can see my power is already here I'm probably gonna mount my ground somewhere up here I'm like I said I just want to make sure I get a nice solid ground and I don't want to interfere with the seat latching down so I'm gonna find a nice place like I said over here for the ground and RCA's will bring out over here if you want you can leave your plastic thing in here and you can mount your amplifier in there and we'll wire all your amp wiring right to there wiring your amp is super easy but yeah that's basically what you're gonna do is just get it all to right there and uh, once you have all your wiring back here we're doing good okay so stay tuned hey guys so at this point, if you take a look right here, you can see that right beside our seat belt, I found a perfect spot because it was still solid right here and goes sort of into a frame piece. Again, it's the best ground that I could find without actually going through the vehicle to get, find a, bur or a piece of frame. So once we uh, get this mounted in here, this just closes down. We tuck that back in, but this is going to come through the same hole. This is where your cover slides into, but there'll be room. I figure we'll, that way we can hide it right under the cover or I might actually just pull it through down here like so. I'll, I'll see once I get the uh, insert back in here, but I'll get all that. As you can see our remote wire and our RCAs are back here and if we go over here our fuse is now done up for over here. So our fuse is done right here, again just goes up and through there, that's all tied in and uh, yeah. So from here, I'm just going to clean up wiring and uh, wire up the amp. So stay tuned and I'll show you, the next thing you'll probably see actually is wiring up the amp is pretty easy. It's all labeled. It's going to have power. So let's see, I've got the amp right here actually. Uh, you have your power wire, your remote wire, your ground, which you will just wire in there. You'll plug your RCAs in to the only spot for RCAs, and if there's two spots, plug it into the RCA input for uh, in, not out. Make sure you plug it into in. And from there, make sure your gains are set at halfway. That's RMS. If you turn it up past there, you risk damaging your amp. So on the side, turn your gain at half. Base boost, I usually turn off. 
subsonic filter up to you if you want to use if so select the pr appropriate spot where you'd like to cut it off for your subwoofer this can be very tricky to actually set up I usually just turn it off um, again it does save your subwoofer but it, it, I usually only use it for my higher end audio projects anyways and then right here uh, for uh, your speakers make sure if you have a single just you know it's gonna say plus and minus for speaker one plus minus for speaker two um, in this case we're just going to be uh, doing that and if you take a look for bridged it only wants two ohms but uh, yeah we'll be bridging ours so that way we get the best power anyways uh, stay tuned and that's the way we'll be uh, wiring it so if you're wiring yours that's what you're gonna do this goes from here to the back end of your speaker box plus and minus to plus and minus on your box here and then all the other stuff is really easy just hook her up and so the next part you're gonna see is the stuff actually run and working all right Peace. hey guys so just to kind of show you as I was showing you RCA's right there plugged into the side once you have that check next thing you're gonna have to make sure you already have in is your remote wire your ground wire your positive wire which you've run and now these two which I've got coming out of here are going to go to our subwoofer box which is going to connect onto there of course remember uh, the best way to remember this is the positive and negative is if there's writing on one of the wires use that as your positive okay so now I'm just gonna flip this or we'll put it in here we're gonna strap it down then I'm gonna be putting the cover back on and then we'll drop the seat and put the subwoofer down. And then I'll show you how we're going to put the sub down. It'll be pretty sick. Okay. Stay. All right, guys. So this last portion is, of course, very dark just because of unfortunate circumstances of us losing light. But anyways, as you can see, sub box is in the trunk. And what I'm going to be doing is if you take a look at that right there, we have one hook there and we have a hook on the back of the seat. And I'm just going to be running a bungee cable from there to there to hold it down. And also hold it the, the bottom here down by putting pressure on there so this doesn't rattle. Which is, you know, pretty important. So once you have all that done, I mean that's basically it to this project. Again, I'm sorry about the last portion here not being very light so I can't really show you. But as you can see, this little Pioneer sub box just fits perfectly. And you can close the tailgate and what's best... You can put stuff on top of it and it's not a big dealio. You'll just scratch it a little bit or what you can always do is grab a rubber um, mesh or protector that you can put over top of it. And then if you put groceries or something on it, it's not a big deal. But it's small, it's a quaint, you can still use your trunk. Again, you can always look at the stealth boxes made by J, uh, JL and stuff, but they're like 700 bucks. This project cost like maybe 400 so not a big deal. Anyways... I hope this video helped you out. Press the like button if it did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see some more of my other videos. Of course, leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks again for watching. Peace.